All right, guys, uh, I'm gonna show you today how to install a, a gun sling and the studs. Here's the studs, and I'm gonna install it on my Umarex Origin. And you'll notice that there's a short stud and a long stud. The short stud is for the, the fore end, the front of the stock. The long one is for the butt, the back of the stock. And this comes with the uh, quick re quick release. Well, that was true. Okay, there you go. Quick release clips. And so we're going to show you how to put the studs in the stock. All right. So the Umarex stock here is a synthetic stock, and it's hollow. And it's you see up here in the forearm, fore end that it's ribbed. So the stock is actually hollow, so you only have maybe an eighth of an inch thick thickness here for the front end of the stock. And on the back, the butt plate, I've removed the butt plate with the two screws there, removed it, and you can see it's hollow. All right, so Right here, you see in the stock there, and right here. All right, so I've checked the screw, the screw here for the butt plate screws in there, that on that uh, pole. So what I'm going to do on this stock, because the way it's made here, I'm going to go in and take the back end of that stud because this, the back end of the the stud here for the butt plate. I'm going to actually screw in at an angle into that base so this with that longer screw in here will support it as is. I just have to drill at that at a, a 45 degree angle into that stock. On the front, the fore end of the, the stock here is thin all the way across. So there's nothing really to grip. So what I've done is cut a half inch dowel rod. I've flattened one in and then cut it down to size so when you put the barrel this has a tank make sure you always remove the stock if you're gonna install studs or slings remove the stock from the gun especially on an air gun a precharged pneumatic that has an air tank you don't want any scratches dings dents on that tank and if you were to puncture that it could blow up in your face if you have air in it. It's always best if you're to work on an air gun that you um, release the air pressure on it anyway. So there's no pressure at all. So what I did was I cut this dowel flat side down there so it fits in there. So what this is going to do is allow that stud, now that's the short stud for the back, this one when it goes through here that it's also going to attach into that dowel and that'll give it more strength to support. Now these studs are coarse threaded for wood and so they will work for this application. So I've taken my vise and patted it so I don't scratch the stock and I've set that dowel rod in there and I'm going to take a 3 16 drill bit to make the pilot holes all right with these studs here I'm gonna actually go with a 11 force you see that it's the size of the drill bit is the same size as the the shaft the core of the bolt of the stud so that will give your threads maximum grip in your stock all right, I've slid the stock down to where I'm going to do the fore end first and go ahead and drill it. And you're going to drill it square. All right, so you notice I put a broom, actually a rake handle in it that holds that uh, half inch. Uh, it's a half inch or five eighths. I think it's a half inch dowel holding it in place. And I've already flattened it, got it in place. And I flipped the stock so you can make sure you center it there and you want to put it in the middle of this 
rib and that rib. Well, there's no rib on the front, but that that edge and that rib. So go directly there in the middle and drill through both the stock and that dowel. the dowel rolled it's not centered so we're going to make another dowel all right so i've got the uh new dowel in there you see it there I'm just going to hold it with the tip of my hold with the tip of my finger in there center now i'm not drilling all the way through don't drill all the way through you can take a maybe a marker and do this same thing I'm just marking that dowel. And that's about where it is. Mark it so I'm going to, now I know where it is on this dowel. And I'm going to drill it all the way through. So I've got the dowel in there, have it pinned in the stock. I put the stud in the drill so I can make sure that it's straight, square with the stock. And you're gonna screw it in. Okay. Now that it's straight. See that square, it's in the center, pretty close. It's in the dowel. And then you can screw it in the rest of the way. And it comes with a wash spacer. So it could keep from chipping the wood, but I probably won't need it on this synthetic stock so i'm not gonna all right so now it's square you get an allen wrench or a screwdriver that fits the eyelet and then screw it on down all the way make sure it's flush with the stock see there it's holding that in if it didn't get, if it doesn't feel like it's sunk, it's seated, you can take it back out and then put that washer on. All right, there it is with the stud. So it's front done. Now we're gonna move on to the back. So this, with this synthetic stock, you got a line, and that's the center. So you just wanna go to to that base. 45 degree angle on this stock anyway each stocks different so you just have to be able to judge that
take it. We'll put this. Go ahead and put the spacer on it since we put the spacer on at the front. And put it in the drill. There you go. I think I'm gonna I think I'm turn. Let's get rid of it. All right, so that's the back. The back stud. And I put it there so it's out of the way. It's a little bit, little be a little more durable there because you probably hit the the corner, and it's gonna miss the stud, the swing, the swing. So you just put this in there like that. Rotate this. Throw that down. That's on. And then the same, same for the front. So quick detach. If you need the sling on there, sling on there, put it on, and take it off. And then you just put the butt plate, screw the butt plate back on there, and then put the stop back on the gun. And you're ready to go.